Disneyland has been stepping up their cold brew game, and we're here to try 11 cold brews across the Disneyland Resort to report which ones are our favorites. There were some surprises, wins, and terrible misses. Come with us on this Disney day to see how the cold brews ranked. Good morning, you guys. We are at Disneyland today. We are going to be drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> we decided one day, AJ and I were looking at all of the different coffees that Disneyland has to offer and went, you know, we really should spend a day trying them all. So that's our goal today. We got up this morning and mobile ordered a couple of them. So we have a few friends that are gonna help us out because there's no way I could drink all this coffee by myself. But if you are new here, hello, my name's Ivy. Come along with us and I'll introduce you to everyone in a second. Taste testing these coffees today will be myself who likes a light roast, sweet and balanced coffee, AJ who likes a dark, roasty and smooth coffee, and our friend Sarah who likes smooth, nutty and rich coffees. You'll see how our different likes, dislikes and preferred coffee flavor profiles come into play today. While teams work hard on creating these beverages, not every drink is for everyone, but I'm sure you'll find one you love. First two coffees acquired, we're going to our third location um, and then we'll be wired shortly after. Don't worry, we did get some food to help balance the caffeine from all of these drinks. So like I said, we are here with friends. We have some scorecards that Sarah made. So today we will be going through all of our coffees. We will be doing a rating out of five today. We will share it all with you. The first coffee of the day is from Jolly Holiday. This is where you can get the infamous grilled cheese and tomato soup, baked goods, and of course, the classic Matterhorn macaroon. This cold brew coffee is with hickory smoke syrup, chocolate and caramel sauces, cream, and smoked sugar salt sprinkle. We'll give it a little whirl. There's two that I'm very scared of today. This is one of them. Might as well start with it, right? I like that one, actually. It do smell smoky. There's, it's like an ashtray. <laughs> it has a rich, bold coffee flavor. I don't get a lot of smoke. It smells like really rich coffee. Like somebody didn't burn the beans, but... Ashtray? Like, yeah, like ashy. More than smoke. Yeah. Have you often licked an ashtray? Tastes uh, uh, earthy. So this chimney sweet food brew, I like it more than I thought it was going to. It's like rich, balanced, creamy and smooth. Like Sarah said, not bitter at all. I would order this again. Next is a stop at Maurice's Treats, known for their garlic cheesy pretzel bread for the mocha nitro cold brew. Nitro cold brew with a mocha drizzle. I don't love nitro coffees because I like very, very, very cold coffees. Like I like, I order all of my coffees with extra ice. No? It's very bitter. It's not very balanced. I actually quite like this. Not sweet. Oh. So I'm wondering if, if we need to stir all the chocolate off the side to be able to get any kind of sweetness to it. It does not taste like mocha. You describe something that sounds very appetizing, so... <laughs> It's drinkable. I would drink this whole thing. How much you're expecting when you look and see something with chocolate stripes around it? I don't. I think it's it's smooth. It's a good finish. It's not very sweet. I don't love it. Definitely after comparing the two, I would go back and get the chimney sweet for sure. We're 
Breaking news. <laughs> I was just eating my breakfast bowl. AJ took the nitro cold brew and stirred it all to get all of the chocolate off the edges and said it completely changes the flavor. It does, but I still don't like it. Now it's, now there's more chocolate in it. Now, um, you know how mocha chocolate is chalky? Now this drinks chalky and not smooth. Yeah, no. Still it's not as, no. it's not as bad, but it's still a no for me. I rather like it. I would drink this, definitely. In Fantasyland, you will find Red Rose Tavern. This quick service location is themed after Beauty and the Beast with nods to the movie in the decor. Red Rose Tavern features the Tavern Cold Brew, caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon cold brew with cream. We're gonna give this a little stirry stir because it's very separated. Ooh, it smells like fake caramel, like caramel syrup. Yeah, I totally see what you mean. The caramel on the nose is great. It's either promising or going to be terrible. Huh. Oh. Not a promising start. I don't know what that is, but that's not good. So it smells like caramel. It doesn't taste like caramel to me. It tastes like if you had watered down cold brew and topped it with cinnamon toast crunch cereal milk. It almost tastes like a fake cinnamon situation was happening. I think it would be better if there was a better quality cold brew as the base. It's not as rich. So like the first one was very like rich and deep and flavorful. This one is not it. So I almost wonder if the bases of the two coffees are different. Yeah, it's a no for me. I don't think I would get this again. Oh, I would like drink it again. It's not that bad that I would never get it again, like the nitro cold brew. <laughs> but if I had to pick, I'm still picking the chimney sweet over this one. That makes me sad. I was really hopeful for this one. This one was like the top of my wanted to try list. It's not as sweet as I would think it would be when it is caramel and vanilla, like in the description. Our next stop is Tiana's Palace, where you can find southern meals inspired by Creole and Cajun cuisine. There's even an old friend to greet you right as you enter. Here we are trying the Joffrey's Coffee Chicory Cold Brew with sweet cream. You can see all that cream on the bottom. AJ's had this before. He said that this definitely needs a good stir. This I would take the off. I know, that's <laughs> I watched that happen. <laughs> see, I knew this would happen too. There are some napkins. There's not a good way to stir this because it is filled to the chicken top. So it's been several months, but I see, I remember liking it. So let's see. We're gonna do this very carefully. You can see the swirlage. It's an herb, so it's a little bitter and a little nutty. Oh yeah. It kind of tastes like some iced coffee to me. Yeah. Better than a chimney sweep, so far in my opinion. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> it doesn't taste like coffee. It almost tastes like watered down. You know when you make a hot coffee, but you want iced coffee, so you dump it in a bunch of ice? and then it tastes like flavored water. That's kind of what this tastes like. There's a little bit of a thicker texture because there's a, a thicker cream in it that we stirred from the bottom, um, almost like a whipped topping type of texture that's stirred in. So the mouthfeel gives it a little thicker of a flavor, not flavor, but a little thicker of a consistency. Sweetness from the cream, but there's like a nuttiness there from the chicory that I really like. 
Like, yeah, I don't hate it. I definitely like it way better than the one that was at Red Rose Tavern. However, chicory coffee is like a staple of New Orleans. So that's why it's here. But I still like the chimney sweep way better. To go with our coffee, we got one of the lemon glazed beignets. Look at this. Look at that glaze. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We're headed into Galaxy's Edge for the most famous Disneyland cold brew. At Docking Bay 7, you will find the Black Calf cold brew topped with a sweet cream cheese foam and chocolate puffs. Cheers. Now this one does need a good stir because the cream cheese foam sits on top. I don't drink this one with the straw because I like to eat the cocoa puffs with it because I think that really is a part of enhancing this beverage. So I sip this one and eat the cocoa puffs at the same time. Cheers, friends. This is everyone's favorite. This is hands down always has been my favorite. I do love this one. One of my favorites. It's not always my favorite. I don't love cream cheese. But I love this one. This is probably the sweetest coffee we've had today. It's so balanced. I still taste coffee, but it's sweet. The Cocoa Puffs add texture and flavor. Yeah, this one has worked the hike all the way back into the back part for. I am a shake and espresso, add cold foam kind of gal at Starbucks. So like this is more of my kind of beverage. No notes. So far out of everything we've had, this is what I'm ordering. I would say this, then the chimney sweep would be my two so far. If you do go to Disney World and go to Galaxy's Edge, they do serve this with booze also, if you're into a boozy coffee. Um, and speaking of boozy coffees, there is another coffee option in Galaxy's Edge at Oga's Cantina, but that requires a reservation, a whole table service deal, so we skipped that one. We head to Critter Country next for the pistachio cold brew from Hungry Bear. While the presentation wasn't great, it really went downhill from here. This cold brew has pistachio sweetened condensed milk foam and pistachio dust, and it really melted and overflowed on the walk back to the table. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just grabbed a hundred napkins, so I don't even know what to, like there's not even room for my straw to go in this before it's just gonna like bubble over. Pistachio has always been a favorite flavor of mine. Very nutty. Oh. Oh. It is nutty, like like there's a, a, a nut flavor, but like... It's... Did you ever have pistachio pudding as like a kid? It, I get that without any sweet. There's like no sweet to it, which I think would make it a lot better. I'm trying to place the aftertaste taste is a little um, medicinal. Yeah, I don't know. It does just taste like, like watered down pistachio ice cream. Yeah, not a... Uh, No, it's not there. Um, it's not sweet at all. There's zero sweetness to this. But not sweet. It tastes more like iced coffee. Again, it's very light in the coffee taste and a little watery. No, I don't taste really coffee ever. I see what you say that it tastes like an iced coffee, very watered down. The sweetened condensed milk definitely gives it like a smoothness texturally, but no. I don't, it doesn't taste like a coffee to me. It tastes like a pistachio drink. This, this is my least favorite so far. I don't know, I don't like it. Mm. 
on our way over to this side of the park, AJ also stopped at Harbor Alley to grab the cookies. Um, you can get a box of six or 13. AJ got 13. They are these little warm cookies, little dollops of joy. So tiny chocolate chip cookies. They're usually pretty warm when you get them. So get them fresh. Um, they are good to take home, but there's just something about like a warm gooey chocolate chip cookie that's like the best. The most anticipated coffee of the day is from Troubadour Tavern, a specialty coffee for Pixar Fest. The adventure is out there cold brew is a dark chocolate cold brew with a butterscotch topper, wafer cookie, and confetti coins. Trying to hydrate. It's a thousand degrees today. Great time to drink more coffee. There, this is the one I'm most excited about from the new ones I haven't tried. I'm a big fan of butterscotch, dark chocolate. Sounds like it's gonna be right up my alley. This one's the one I'm most excited about. It is the prettiest. Give it a little mixer because that seems to be the key to many of these coffees today. All right. Oh, that's weird. This one definitely tastes more like a cold brew that's been sweetened. bitter from that dark chocolate and I love dark chocolate but there isn't a sweetness coming from the butterscotch foam for me. It doesn't have a good aftertaste. I really like this one. This one reminds me um, a little bit of the black cat. I would get it to post a picture of it on Instagram. I would not get it because it's a good cup of coffee. Yeah, I really like this one. We headed to Toontown for Cafe Daisy. Here they feature a specialty cold brew. This cold brew is with Orchid syrup, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and toasted coconut. So many of my favorite things all in one. I love coconut, so I'm very excited about this. I don't like raw coconut texturally. Given that, I'm gonna try this. This one doesn't have coconut in it. Well, chocolate and coconut are my favorite flavors together, so that's why I was very excited about this. Great chocolate aroma. Oh yeah. This one doesn't offend me as much as some of the others have. There's just something about some of this coffee we've had today where it's just the, the quality of the cold brew I think is not like the best. It definitely tastes like chocolate, watered down coffee, and like a hint of like fake coconut, not real coconut. Let's get some more of this topping mixed in it. Maybe it will help. The topping's very sweet. Much better stirred. You get more of that sweetness in it. Similar to the mocha nitro, the chocolate in it isn't very sweet. So you need the sweetness of the topping mixed in to really get that creamy, sweet, smooth flavor. It helps kind of balance it out. It tastes like chocolate milk to me. No. Ooh, when the toppings get in there, you know when you have to chew your coffee a bit? but I don't like chewing the coconut. So this is one that I would either not get again or I would get and ask for no coconut. It was a, a weird aftertaste of that one, almost like a fake sweet aftertaste. I'm not getting a lot of coffee, but I'm getting chocolate milk. The almond rounds it out and makes it a little sweeter. All right, I like this a lot better now. Homeboy's here for the video. Okay, I hate the coconut. It's not my favorite, but 
but it's like in the rankings of ones that I would definitely get again. We park hopped over to DCA and headed to Smoke Jumper's Grill. This is your classic burger spot in the park along with specialty beverages and milkshakes. Here you can find the breakfast cold brew, a chocolate cold brew with toasted marshmallow foam topped with cocoa crisp rice cereal. There's also a boozy version served with Bailey's Irish cream. We'll mix in some of this topping. Mm. Oh, I love the way this one smells. It smells weird. Ooh. I really like this one because of the creaminess of it doesn't feel like it's actually diluting the coffee. Like sometimes it felt like it was making it watery. It's definitely more of a sipper to get that like sweet marshmallowness. I don't get a ton of chocolate. It's not overly sweet, but it feels really balanced to me. This one feels like an afternoon treat. This is good. This might be top three. Probably one of my favorites. It reminds me of the Docking Bay 7-1. Not bad. Not my favorite. Recently renovated San Francisco Square is themed after Big Hero 6. In Ant Cass Cafe, you will find a drink I had the most reservation over all day, the Yuzu Lemonade Coffee. That's right, lemonade and coffee. And it looks very questionable. Here we go, I guess. I'm very skeptical. Is lemonade and coffee a thing? I feel like this is gonna be like an Arnold Palmer oh, with coffee instead of iced tea. That's what I keep saying. I'm telling myself that because I like Arnold Palmers. Let's see. I don't hate it. I I don't know that I would ever pick it to drink it, but it's part of it is like tart and refreshing. That's weird. The first drink is that tart lemonade. The back end is coffee. I don't hate it. I was going to hate it, but like, I don't know that I ever need to have it again. Our last stop is at the Pim Test Kitchen at Avengers Campus for Experiment 7290, the Cookies and Cream Cold Brew. A chocolate cookie cold brew with sweet cream cold foam. We saved the Cookies and Cream Cold Brew for last. This one I'm excited for. I like cookies and cream. I feel like this is going to be top, top half at least. Some of the other ones that we did, I couldn't get the coffee. I still get coffee in this. This was a good one to end on. This is like a when I'm done and I'm not doing anything else after this because it's very sweet. But I dig it. Once we finished all 11 drinks, the four of us compared our scores and took the average of our overall rank. 
to no surprise, the Black Calf Cold Brew from Docking Bay 7 remained number one. Here's how our ranking for all 11 shook out. While Disneyland does offer specialty cold brews, both parks have a Starbucks, the Market House in Disneyland, and Fiddler, Pfeiffer, and Practical in California Adventure. There are other locations around both parks that also serve cold brews if you just need that cold cup of coffee without all the extra flavors. Let us know which coffee you're looking forward to trying next in the comments below. Well, friends, that is it from California Adventure. Um, we had 11 cold brews today. We have ranked them. I am full. I am full of caffeine. And uh, it's time to hydrate on the drive home. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope maybe this has helped some of you when you're picking your next cold brew at Disneyland. There are plenty of specialty cold brews to pick from and quite the range of flavors. So until the next one, we'll see you guys later.